Hey y'all, I'm back on video. Um, I haven't done video in a while for a topic. I mean, I've been doing reaction videos and stuff, but you have to be on video for that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my God, what is going on? Um, so really quick, thank y'all for the 100. Oh, excuse me, subscriber limit. You know. Thank y'all for the support and all that. We got music coming on the way. Um, I cannot wait to get, you know, so damn tired of talking about this motorsport conspiracy theory videos. I can't wait to get my damn motorsport voice verse out. And by the way, um, it's, it's gonna um, it's featuring me and Dia Moore um, on here. His name is Young Papa. It's gonna be about um, four minutes long, somewhere around there. And I also shouted out Cardi B on there. Um, in a special way, y'all will see it when it um drops. I have to go re-record because I added that part on, and wake me up has to re be done. But we do have it stuff coming on the way soon. And um, so yeah, we're gonna get that jump started on that soon. Um, let's see if I can get in the studio this weekend if it's possible. Nonetheless, um, thank y'all for that. Um. And uh, make sure you go check out all my other videos and shit. And um, like I said in the video on live with my mom, be respectful. That's it. We can have different opinions and that shit is okay. Anybody that I bring into my videos, they will be respected on my YouTube channel. Okay, Michelle has a lyric in one of her songs where she says, save it for the shade room. Now, I'm not that famous yet. I'll be honest. So, what you can do is take that to a group chat with your little friends. I'm not going to have people disrespecting people that I invite on my channel, especially my mother. My mother. And even throughout that whole situation, that person did not feel the need to, at some point, admit they were wrong. You were comparing her opinion of our music artist to the fact that you called my mother an old lady and a hate. Get the fuck out of here with that. Like I said... Be mutual. I mean, um, be 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 respectful. You know, if you want to have have a nice, classy debate, that is cool. If you have other information regarding any of my videos, not just this video, um, any videos, um, we can talk. Or if you want to inform me of something, that is fine. All that cussing at me, um, through your little keyboard. All that insult, uh, that shit, nah, we not doing that here. We not doing that. And if you live in Georgia, you, you, you might want to lock your doors at night trying to do that shit. Because I will show up to your damn house. Nonetheless, um, hell, if you don't live in Georgia, uh, people don't want to believe you're crazy until you show them. Um, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me, shit. So nonetheless... We're getting into this motorsport shit. Alright. I had my last video up. And I, like a lot of people, felt weird listening to it. It kind of felt like they were both dissing each other on it. So, you know, that brought out conspiracy videos and stuff. Um, Nikki tried to, you know, expel all of those with her little tweets. Um, you know, and she basically was like, um, I'm trying to paraphrase everything. She basically um, was like, imagine me not clearing the song of somebody who's I'm on, da da da, this, that, and the other. Or clearing a song that I'm on, that I just any other. Um, and she actually, in that instance, she was right. Now, how the song came about, um, there was drama behind it. Um, um, the information that all of us have been using there from trusted sources. DJ Epidemics, for me, being number one. Because, you, you know, one thing about Nikki, you know, when she's, if there's any type of, um, situation that is any drama, anything drama wise, stuff like it's hard to find, you know. Like, she must be having the people on her payroll like that, you know. That Jelani, that situation with her brother's been going on for two years. This is the first year that any of the blogs have posted on it, Ooh, excuse me, excuse me, or spoken on it. Nonetheless, um, um. So, in that instance, you know, she was right. However, the song did not come along peacefully as a kumbaya. All five of us, Migos, uh, Cardi, and Nikki, were all in the studio laughing, smoking, whatever, drinking. Nah, it wasn't like that, bro. Not at all. So, it started off with Nikki and Quavo on the song. 
And from there, um, I guess the Migos decided they wanted to be on there. Um, but even if that is not how it happened, I can't remember um, exactly. Even if that's not how it happened, off, uh, Quavo is like Cardi B's brother. You know, like Qua uh, Cardi B and uh, what's it called together. So, you know, like she's going to hear this record before it goes out. You know, hey, babe, you know, we're working on da -da, this, that, and the other. You want to hear it? Da -da. Of course, you know. So, uh, to make it long story short, you know, um, Cardi B did an interview. He was, she was asked about the relationship. And, you know, this is one thing that, you know, fails. This one thing about Barb's, they, um, uh, the one thing about Barb's that, like, really just baffles me, the common sense really is not there. <laughs> now, not for all of them. You know, um, you can't generalize the whole bunch, um, even though it's a vast majority of them. You know, body language is everything. Every time Cardi B is asked about Nicki Minaj, she shifts. Her whole personality shifts. Her whole aura changes. And it, she just looks dazed and confused. Like, she's off, you know. And it's, it's followed by a well, well. And that's due to the fact Cardi doesn't know how to be fake. She doesn't know how to feign shit or feign a relationship. She doesn't know how to do that. And I, when if she first did it, you know, every female is asked about Nicki Minaj, but of course they're going to hound her about it because they're on the song Motorsport. And, you know, people in the industry talk. Nobody believes this is a genuine collaboration, and they're trying to get dirt from, you know, get whatever they can out of each artist. And Nicki has her publicist, and she doesn't do interviews anyways. So they keep bombarding Cardi with this, and I feel very bad for her because you can tell, like, this is not what she signed up for. But, nonetheless, um... She doesn't know how to be fake and do all that. So, you know, every time she's asked whether it's Nikki or the song Motorsport itself, she always kind of shifts and it's like, well, or well, or, you know, we talked and, you know, it's not like there's no, you can tell. Um, there's, there's no, uh, there's no love in that relationship right there. Um, uh, but moving on from that, in the interview that has the part that has everybody talking is Cardi alluded to Nicki changing her verse. Um, she spoke about the song. She said, when I first heard it, the original verse that I heard, that's not the verse that she has now. So now, you know, of course, you know, everybody's kind of added on to theories, working out what they can. DJ Academics came out, and he's one of the few people that heard the original verse. And on the original verse, Nikki said, I'm number one, Barty is number two. Something else to the extent of that, and shots, this, that, and the other. So, damn. Even in this record, she ain't really calling her out by name. Because that Barty shit don't count to me. If Nikki gonna call somebody out by name, I don't want to hear Shanae. I don't want to hear Raggedy Ann. I want to hear the person's damn name. I ain't even giving her that Barty Cardi shit. Nah, you need to say Cardi B or Cardi. But nonetheless, allegedly that is the first, um, that's the the first version of the, um, um, her motorsport, motorsport voice, uh, verse. Allegedly that is the first, um, version. And, um, when Cardi heard it, she, uh, she obviously wasn't happy, you know, allegedly she threatened to, you know, leave Atlantic. And leave um, Offset. There you go, Offset. I, I said she was in, would take off one of these damn videos. That's my bad. If not this video, it was the earlier. I tried to redo this video a couple of times. But um, nonetheless, um, Offset. Okay, I forgot his name just as soon as I remembered it. But yeah, um, with Offset, um, you know, and that would, that, that theory could work for me because I'm going to keep it real. I don't know how Cardi feels about her purple blanket. But the fact that they was about to break up, I don't believe that was simply over a purple blanket. Um, so that could have something to do with that. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Um, but nonetheless, she was furious, you know. And she has the right to be, you know. Um, one thing about Cardi Sheen came in this game wanted no problems with nobody. And we can all we all know how Nikki is when it comes to females in the game. She's very catty, very petty, and she wants to be the only woman in this rap shit. And sadly, Nikki, that's not going to work for you. The same bullshit that you sat there and spewed about Little Kim on the Wendy Williams show, you're becoming that. You are that. 
um, for her to sit there and try to play off that situation as if she didn't sit there and take all the little Kim styles and all that shit bullshit. But when she said um, the whole shit about um, um, you're going to go down in history as a sore loser or a sore winner, whatever the fuck she said, that's what's happening with you right now, Nikki. You know, at this point, I'm not saying she has to hop on songs with females and embrace them. I just rather her do her own thing and stop throwing indirect shots at people. It's getting pathetic and lame. And her barbs can sit there and delusion and defend her all day long. Um, real lies, real eyes, real lies, real lies. Now, put that in your real eyes record. Talking about some papoose will eat the record. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know, um, so, um, yeah, nonetheless, um, Cardi heard the song. And, of course, she wasn't happy. So, the label had Nicki change her verse. So, that's hence why she made it longer. And, um, and even then, you know, she took out the direct shots. There's still indirect shots in there. You know, watch your man. They used to watch your mouth. Um, I am the champ. Something. Uh, bum ass lace fronts. Uh. Okay, that's all I care to remember from her verse. Um. Or can remember, but care to even try to dig in to my brain like that for. Um, I literally listen to Cardi's part, and that's it. <laughs> and in fact, that's the part. Well, that's one of the parts that I remixed on my verse. So, um, she did her thing on that record. I like that. Um, um, but yeah, with that, with that um, being said, um, so yeah, Nikki had to change her part, you know, and that could that could very well go along with what everybody's been thinking. It's obvious Nikki wasn't happy that Cardi was on this record. This is obviously like anytime Nicki Minaj does a feature, she tweets the hell of that shit. Everybody knows this Nicki Minaj four album. It looks like it's never coming. Um, as long and I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Odds are she's in the same boat as Lil Wayne when it comes to the music and shit and all that. Birdman to fuck them over. Um. Yeah, but nonetheless, um, and I could be wrong, maybe I couldn't. I do know, I seen the other, on the other video, uh, uh, on the video yesterday, she said, do y'all want the baby or the album? So at this point, I'm going to assume, yeah, that album can't fucking drop. Because um, if that's what we're doing, if that's what we're trolling, you know, like, that's, people play enough with uh, children when it comes to social media. That right there was tacky and distasteful um just like that damn paper issue magazine you can call it art all you want to that was disgusting and weird like some sex kitten white people bsdn shit or something i don't even fucking know but <laughs> nonetheless like i said um so for me personally that is where i'm at with my final conclusion unless cardi openly comes out and speaks on the situation and like i said she's the only one out of those five people who i think would do it um, but out of fear of being blackballed by Nikki, attacked by her fans, or, um, you know, uh, discouraged by Offset to do that, I don't think she would do it. But she's the only person who would come out and explain how it often, or how it all came together. But maybe, and also, you know, Cardi's not dumb, you know, she's very smart. Maybe her alluding to that was her letting us know, um, this is what happened, you know. Um, and then, you know, as I said, you know, there are inside sources to back these sources. You know, DJ Academics is very reputable, um, uh, in his line of work. So, um, y'all can take from it what y'all want. You know, that is about my final, um, conspiracy video on it. Like I said, unless one of them comes out openly and says some shit, you know, that is my final, um, viewpoint on it, you know. Um, and again, you know, like I said, if you want to debate it in the comments, that's fine. Nobody's a Nicki Minaj hater. There's nothing in the world, and I'm not jealous of her. There's nothing in the world that I want for Nicki Minaj. If you want a pedophile brother, that's cool. That's on you. Um, I, I could sit here all day. And, and talk about just as many W's as Nicki Minaj has. There was a hell of a lot of L's. Um, but nonetheless, I, I ain't nobody got time for that shit. Like I said, though, there's nothing to be jealous about for her. There's nothing that she has that I want. Um, I just, but, you know, 
it's a, it's a, it's a conspiracy video. It's my opinion, um, backed by facts slash um, alleged um, alleged facts from other videos and the little research that I did do myself. You know, if you don't agree, go make your own video. You're not going to hold me hostage under mine. I will fuck you up. Yeah. Well, I have to get this girl uh, onto the bus in the morning. And then I have to go to the bank and close my SRP account. Because SRP is ass um, when it comes to customer service. So it is um, 12.02 a.m. Yeah, I'm going to take my ass. To I should have finished this damn pie. And then I'm going to take my ass to bed. Um, like I said, though, thank y'all for supporting me. Um, and, and, you know, um, let me know if y'all want uh, me to react to any videos. Um, now, there, I'm going to keep it real. There's I got a reaction the other day to do COVID, a Kodak Bat video. I will not be doing that video. But, um, you know, let me know. Any videos you want me to react to, if not the one that you asked for, we can work something out. If you there's anything you want me to talk about, get at me in the comment section and let me know. And I will catch y'all on the next video. Bye.